Hi everyone! Welcome to another Sketchbook Sunday. Today I'm going to be showing you how to paint this winter scene with a really nice mountain in the background. So what you didn't see me do here is very, very lightly sketch out a uh, winter scene. So the most important part really is just making sure you have those trees in place. Because we're going to be painting birch trees, I think that's what they're called, um, they're predominantly white and so you don't want to paint over them. Um, so once you have that rough sketch in place, you're just going to essentially create the sky and the water reflecting, um, mirroring the colors from the sky on your painting. So I chose to go with a blue fading into sort of a pinkish uh, pale color. Uh, and you can choose to do the same or you can choose your own combination of colors. But you also want to make sure that you leave the mountain white as well and not paint the colors of the sky onto the mountain because we also want it to be sort of lightish white. Once that layer has dried, you're just going to finally outline essentially those birch trees and you don't want to go over the entire birch tree um, you don't want to outline the entire thing with black you just want to choose specific sections and kind of create little uh, swirls that suggest that the tree is round which i hope that the trees that you encounter on a daily basis are um, round in circumference um, yeah, and then you want to just fill them in with grey, but making sure that you're leaving a little bit of white on those trees. Then you're just going to further define your mountains and even create some trees at the base of the mountain just to add a little bit of more depth. So I started off by creating a very light background layer to again create that depth and uh, progressively get darker with my watercolors. Um, so you could kind of see two or three layers of depth there with the trees. And make sure to mirror the reflection onto the water of both the mountain and the trees. So obviously the trees can't be growing out of water, uh, so I created a little bit of an island for them to sit on, uh, and also gave the trees some branches just to add a little bit more complexity to the painting, uh, and I also added some grass or hedges at the base of the trees to, again, add a little bit more complexity. And don't forget to add the shadow that is coming out from behind the trees to, again, add a little bit more depth. And that's it guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the speed painting and I'd really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful day!